Hi, how's it going everybody? So today we're going to set up a CUPS print server on a Raspberry Pi so that we can print from USB printers wirelessly from any device. I love Raspberry Pis, they're handy for all sorts of things and very inexpensive. This is a Model 3, so it does have a Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth chip in it. If you're using an earlier model Raspberry Pi, you'll have to fall back to the RJ45, so you would have to wire your house with Cat5. My house is wired with Cat5, so I could fall back to that if I wanted to. So, let's get started. So first we'll need a copy of Raspbian, now called Raspberry Pi OS, and I'm going to use the light version. I've never really used the desktop version. What's the point in that? Like, I'm designing a stand... Whenever I use a Raspberry Pi, I'm designing a standalone application. I like to start with a very light OS, so then build on top of it. I don't really need a desktop environment. So they do have a imager now, so we can click on that link instead of downloading the ISO, and this will provision the SD card for us download the imager and it's you can get the imager for windows mac and ubuntu i'm not using ubuntu so i guess i'm gonna have to check the aur is there a raspberry pi imager in here woohoo it's in the aur so there we go manjaro and arch users it's in the aur Alright, so we're going to have to provision one of these little SD cards. And I don't actually have an SD card reader on my desktop, so I'm using this device which can read SATA drives and a bunch of different things. Plug my SD card into it and plug it in, of course, it's going to help. Now I usually use my laptop for imaging SD cards because my laptop has a SD card reader. but in this case I'm using my desktop, that's what I record everything on using OBS. So here we can choose Raspberry Pi OS Lite. Yes, there we go. Alright, so that's done now. I can remove the SD card and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to go plug this in to the network. And uh, we'll SSH into it and start working. Ah, that's annoying. By default, SSH is not enabled on uh, Raspberry Pi OS. I should have remembered that. Now I have to plug it into a display or plug a keyboard into it and try to get that working. All right, probably didn't see that very well, but what I did was, uh, I'll do that again here. The default login for uh, the Raspberry Pi is Pi. The default password is Raspberry. So what I did was I did sudo systemctl enable ssh and after I, I ran that command, I did start SSH. And now we should be able to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. And now we can change that default password. I should get rid of this, it's making it hard for me to type right in front of my keyboard. I don't need it anymore. Oop. The cat was over there. Whoops. Sorry, Ayla. I don't. It didn't hit her. I'll still go apologize to it. Let's get the wireless going. Network options. Wireless LAN. It's New Zealand. There we go. 
Oh my god, let's see. Yes, yes, I do. I don't know by default. Hold on, can we go cancel? Right, let's go. Scan? There we go, there's my network. So I ran IF config and I can see my wireless is connected. It's WLAN zero. We we'll want to make this a static IP. In order to do that, you'll have to look at your own router's documentation to figure out how, which DHCP server it's doing and set that up. So now we want to install cups. So we use the package manager on the Raspberry Pi, which is apt. So we can go sudo apt get install cups. So if that failed to install for you, you might have to do apt get update first. So now let's use the text editor of choice. I like to use Vi, but if you prefer to use Nano or something else, you, you can. So we want to edit the file called cupsd.conf. So I'm going to add that here. And here too. And I'll add it here as well. And that should be enough. This means anyone on my home network will be able to access this. So now we can go to the IP address of the Pi, but add port 631 at the end, and we'll get the CUPS configuration for the print server. So CUPS will only really give access to Linux, Mac, and BSD. It won't give Windows users access to the printers. For that, we'll have to install Samba. Now in my case, there's a no Windows computers on my network, but for the sake of this demonstration, we'll, we'll set up Samba print for printing. Of course, I can't test whether it'll actually work, so... <laughs> Alright, so now we need to edit... Samba.conf And we'll do a search for print. And there should be one that says guest OK. We just want to change this to yes. And then we'll quit out of that. Actually, I think we need to change this to no. Then we'll save and then quit. And restart Samba. And now we need to plug a plug the printer in, so we'll go do that. Okay. Right, so here's a Canon printer. Let's say MP two two zero. Okay, so let's try to add the printer. Now that we have uh, set up that Pi and plugged it in. So it seems like I get good wireless reception from that room because I'm still connected to the Pi. We'll try the find new printers. Oh no. But add printer. Uh, it's trying to use HTTPS. So we'll just say accept risk and continue. Then use your Raspberry Pi login, I assume. Forbidden. 
Uh, I don't have permission. Okay, my SSH session has frozen. So what we can do is hit enter, hit the title key, and then do a full stop, and then that should force it to close. Oh, of course, I changed it, didn't I? We will add the user pi to the LP admin group, which is the cups admin group. And then we'll try that again, shall we? Local, that's not the local printer we want. Hold on a second. I don't think I turned that printer on. Hey, look, detected it. I just needed to turn it on. So we can say share this printer. We continue. Yep, that top one looks like the most likely. If it didn't detect yours, you'll have to provide the PPD file. I believe if you can't find the Linux driver from it, because I've set up cup servers for a, like a school in the past and they didn't have the Linux drivers, but we managed to get the PPD file from the Windows drivers. So those look like good default options. I trust, trust that. So you might want to print a test page from cups on your Raspberry Pi. You can do that from printers, selecting the printer and going print test page. And then you should get something like that. Now, when adding network printers to your Linux clients, there's a few gut years when it comes to getting it to play nice with the cup server on the Raspberry Pi, mainly the drivers that it uses. And this will completely depend on your desktop environment, how you add the printers, and your distribution. So Ubuntu 2004, it was really easy. I just went into the GNOME printers dialog and it actually just detected them and it's added the other drivers. I didn't even need to click add printers or anything. They just showed up here and it works. Now, when it came to Manjaro, I'm using GNOME on Manjaro, it did not automatically detect the printers. Now, you'll have to unlock before you can click this add button but I had to type in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi down here. Once I did that, it showed up, but it did not select the correct driver. Now, the driver you want to get it to play nice, it'll have something like um, IPP everywhere or driverless in its title. You might just have to play around and find the right driver to get it to print. So if you go localhost, port 631, of course on, on Linux, and this might work on Mac too because that uses cups, you can get a similar configuration to the one on your Raspberry Pi for configuring your printers. So this is another way you can change the driver of the network printer that you added. And here you want to find the correct driver for your printer, but if you can find one that says something like driverless or IPP everywhere, that'll be probably the one that'll probably work for network printers. So there's the test page I printed from Manjaro, and here's the test page I printed from Ubuntu. So that's it, wireless network printing working. Anyways, that was how to set up a cup server on a Raspberry Pi so that you can print from USB printers wirelessly. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Have a good day.